Hey guys and welcome to the fourth part of our tutorial series. In this episode we will try to create some shorts and uh, some gloves for our character. Um, yeah, to do this just uh, open up Blender. And in here remove this uh, start cube and import our um, animation with skin from Mixamo. Uh, in my case that's uh, the idle animation here. Import and yeah, now we have our character here and right click on this border here, split area. And now you have to open up a little script which I wrote. Um, so where is it, where is it, the, uh, te the text editor here and um, the script is in the description so you can just download it or copy it, I don't know. Um, well, okay, basically that's are just uh, these three lines and uh, what they do is they rename our armature. Uh, so, well, if we go to edit mode, we can see that every bone has Mixamo rig as a prefix but we don't want that and this script just removes the prefix um, and then we should be able to create clothings with this character and bring them into Unreal Engine 4 without any problems. So um, yeah, select our armature um, and just run the script and everything should be fine. Um, if you select uh, the mesh for example, you will get an error so yeah, be sure to select uh, the armature. Okay. And as you can see here, um, yeah, the prefix is gone. And if we go to edit mode, it is gone for every single bone. Okay, perfect. Now you can uh, close this again. And now um, select our armature again. Go into post mode, select everything and press space and type in clear post transform. Okay, perfect. And I think we want to start with uh, shorts. So to do this, uh, just select our armature and shift select our mesh. Um, press shift D to duplicate it and uh, press M to bring it into another layer. Maybe here on the second layer. And um, yeah, in here we want to select, wait, okay. Um, I think we can hide this armature for now. So just select it and press H and press Z in here and select the area for our shorts. Um, I think that's more or less the area we want. Um, well, this and we don't want these two. And down here, select them. I select uh, the whole area with uh, shift, alt and right click. Um, okay, we don't want that one. So these are our shorts. Um, okay, now press uh, shift D again. And now, well, okay, we can uh, have it selected. And now press control I to inverse uh, the selection and now uh, delete everything. Okay, now we just have our shorts here. Uh, we can create another material, maybe just shorts, and I will make it light green and assign it. Uh, well, okay, and now I, I will make our armature visible again. And if we would, um, yeah, play some animations now, maybe just uh, Alt and A for uh, the idle animation, we can see that uh, the shorts are bending too. So that's quite what we want. Um, yeah, we should go back into post mode and clear the uh, transform. If we would now just take a character mesh with shift D for example um, and delete this one and move it over here. Um, we would see that yeah, our shorts are inside of our character and of course our shorts uh, should be uh, yeah, outside and visible. So um, I will hide the character for now and I will select, um, well, some vertex here in the middle and enable proportional editing and I will increase the radius. Um, well, I think that should be it. Um, and now just 
press uh, shrink slash flatten um, maybe with a better view and well make it visible again okay uh, we need to adjust it here a little bit more so hide it again well not everything just our mesh hide it and select something over here maybe and well that should be it uh, down here well hide our character again um, take this one and maybe this one and just size it up in x direction and move it a little bit in y direction and well make him visible again and I can't see any overlapping vertices so yeah that's quite good Okay, so we can delete a character now again. Um, well, no, it looks good. Okay, delete him and select uh, the armature and the uh, shorts. Okay, and now we want to export it. So export as FBX, select uh, selected objects and the mesh, uh, the armature and others. Why not? And that should be it. Um, well, we don't want to add any leaf, any leaf bones, but we don't really import the armature into Unreal Engine 4, so yeah, it wouldn't even matter. Um, okay, go back to Meshes and Override Shorts. You have to uh, create this file, of course. And now we have our shorts exported. And I want to create some gloves for our character. So yeah, I will just I will just duplicate the character again move him uh, to the third layer and now I will hide his armature and select his glove hand area well um, maybe this one and this one and now I guess it was this one no wait Five hours later. Okay, so that should be it. Now duplicate uh, the hands again with Shift D, uh, inverse the selection and remove uh, the selected vertices. And now I want to create a new material, new and maybe yeah, name it gloves. Uh, I will make it a little bit yeah brownish, I guess. Well, okay, and assign it. Okay, cool. But our problem now is that we, of course, uh, need to um, yeah pull the vertices out a little bit. Uh, to do this, I will just select it and yeah press shrink and flatten. And I want to yeah, pull them a little bit out. Okay, that should be it. Um, if you want to, you can of course, uh, yeah, create some details over here. Maybe, well, take them, extrude it, um, shrink it down, extrude it, shrink it down, extrude it, shrink it down, inverse extrude it, whatever you want. I don't care. Okay, uh, well, it looks a little bit strange, but for tutorial purposes, uh, this is okay. So just. Um, make the armature visible again, select both of it, so mesh and the armature, export SFBX, uh, this, this is okay, and select gloves or create this file. So open it up, open equipment and import shorts and select a human character and say yes and no. And now if we take a look on our character here, we, we want to regenerate it. Uh, yeah, well, we have our normal character and our shorts. And now um, just rename it to root 2 for example. And select our gloves uh, and the armature of it and name it root. And now select um, the map 
select the armature and the mesh, export fbx, um, gloves.fbx and now inside of Unreal Engine, gloves, open, human mesh, import, yes, no, open it up, open a character and you can see this root bone was added to our uh, armature but uh, that's okay and yeah well we have our mesh here um, even with this little spike or whatever it is um, okay now let's bring it into our blueprint so open up a character blueprint and select mesh and in here at a skeletal mesh component its name is uh, gloves as you can see here because I have gloves selected if we select shorts you can see that skeletal mesh shorts um, okay both of them should be children of our uh, mesh and as you can see here they are attached and if we would um, move now well okay we are not really moving uh, okay yeah I want to regenerate it and now you can see that they are attached but they are not really playing the same animations um, yeah to fix it just open up our blueprint um, in here go to construction script and uh, drag out gloves and say master pose the new master pose uh, is our parent mesh and do the same thing for shorts Okay, plug it in and now you can see that the gloves and the shorts are both simulating. Um, well, you can't see any overlapping vertices, everything works fine. Yeah, that's it for, it to for this tutorial. Um, yeah, maybe in the later one, maybe in the later parts uh, we are trying to create maybe a necklace or something uh, or simulating hair um yeah okay but as i said that's it for now uh, leave a like if you uh, like this episode and see you guys later